Hello YouTube, it's been a while. I've taken a big break off of YouTube and of posting my art online in general. I've recently started posting again in the last couple of months. Um, this is because of my mental health and I am on a trauma healing journey as well as an art journey and raising a child as the heading of this video says. Here's a trigger warning, this video is not for a younger audience because it has a lot about my trauma in it. I won't be delving into very many specific details. I will give you vague scenarios, but yeah, it's not really meant for young people. Um, so yeah, the kinds of trauma I went through are childhood trauma. I spent a lot of time alone when I was younger, years where um, I got left somewhere for like a year, um, that happened like twice when I was very young, sexual assaults, um, that I remember and a lot of the being left alone caused abandonment issues and things that I was recovering from, bullying in school, I won't go into that too much, um, autism, ADHD, like having those things. I think exacerbates trauma and I've done a lot of psychology study in order to be able to kind of heal myself from this stuff. Um, I wasn't really taught about emotional regulation which I think could have really benefited me um, with my ADHD and autism. Um, many many sexual assaults <laughs> because I trusted people and wasn't really aware of dangers and I think that's common with autistic people and I'm very sorry if anyone listening identifies with that because it's it's just awful um, and takes a long time to recover from and be able to trust yourself and trust other people. Um, abusive relationships, abusive friendships, um, yeah I became a parent uh, probably about seven and a half years ago because that's how old my son is he's nearly eight actually now um, and all the trauma sort of came out worse um, it made me realize that I needed to change if I wanted to be a better parent so my child has struggles too he has autism and ADHD he has struggles with his emotional regulation but he does have me there to help him with those things thankfully um, Look, he has a lot of positive qualities as well. He is such a beautiful person. I am really grateful that I get to watch him grow up and that I get to have such beautiful moments with him, especially at bedtimes. We have deep and meaningful conversations and he, he asks so many beautiful, curious questions that make me really think about life and the world. And I don't know where I'd be without him. Honestly, he is just, he's an incredible person. Um, he's, he's very inspiring and we have such a close relationship, which makes me happy. Um, my partner has his struggles too. He has pretty much the same struggles as me, minus the sexual assaults. Um, a lot of things happen in his life, but I won't delve into that because this isn't about him. And that's his choice if he wants to talk to people about that. Um, so yeah, we had a lot of relationship struggles in the beginning because of both of our traumas like clashing, um, but we've grown together, we've been able to heal together, uh, which I never thought was possible and I, I'm really grateful to have him in my life too. He is, he's my rock, he is very stable, emotionally secure base for me to talk to when I feel upset. Um, we really help each other get through things and I never really thought that I would have this kind of relationship with someone. Anyway, so um, the other things that I was recovering from and struggling with when I left the art community was the art community itself and bullying within the art community as I've made a video on before. Um, and also just struggling to find my self worth as a person, as an artist. Um, Got to a point where I was hospitalized um, and 
my mom actually helped pay for a DBT therapy in the hospital um, and I went in there for two weeks and that changed my life and really helped me learn some coping techniques for emotional regulation and stuff and it's where I found out that I, I found a love for meditation um, and yeah we did DBT therapy and I combined that with meditation DBT therapy and meditation mindfulness kind of go hand in hand so that's you know it doesn't make things not happen it doesn't make my mental health not bad but it makes it so I can cope with it when things do go bad <laughs> um, stoic philosophy has been a good source of comfort for me as well um, learning that other people don't really have control over how you feel and that you can detach from those things I recommend learning about that stuff if you are struggling with any mental health issues um, so now I'll come back to my art journey never really having left it but I just wasn't posting online um, and I really want to create a community where we can raise awareness of mental health struggles um, and help each other people that are recovering from these kind of things I just want you to know that you're not alone um, and if you ever want to reach out to me personally I'm happy to take messages and listen and I know that it can be lonely and some of our journey I think is meant to be lived alone a lot of my recovery has been becoming okay with being alone and I think that was a huge thing for me because I once had a roommate comment that I never was alone. I used to have friends over every single night when I was younger and he said there were some issues there and I was just like whatever, I was young, I didn't care. Um, I just like thought I liked having my friends around me but little did I know that when I was actually alone and confronted with all this stuff in my head. Um, that was a struggle for me so anyway yeah that's pretty much where I've been at and now I've been starting to work on these new projects so I've been doing a Kawaii Critter sticker, sticker series um, which I hope to release very soon on Patreon and some of the later ones I would like to incorporate some mental health awareness into those stickers like ADHD awareness anxiety awareness and all that stuff because um, I think it's really important that we confront these issues um, and it has been a, a lot for a long part of my life I did not know that I had these issues um, I had alexithymia which if you don't know what that is it's common with autism and it just means you have an inability to really sense what emotions you're having so I didn't know I had an anxiety problem until probably a few years ago um, and I'd never felt it before <laughs> so that made it really intense when I did actually feel those things so I really do think being aware of your mental health issues is very 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 important um, if you're interested in supporting my art journey feel free to donate via the Kofi link in the description um, you can donate the cost of a cup of coffee or whatever you feel is reasonable I will be launching the Kawaii sticker series soon, Kawaii Critters, and yeah, so these stickers are just adorable. They don't yet have a message on them, but they are adorable. <laughs> they will be available on Patreon in the next few months, hopefully. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video, it just really helps out the channel. Love, love, love you guys, and I hope we can chat again soon. Take good care of yourselves. Please don't forget your self-care and your self-love. Bye!